What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm finally going to install the carbon fiber side skirts that I bought for my BMW F30 340i. Here they are, in all their glory. <laughs> yep, heading to my parents, per usual, to install my mods, as they have all the equipment there. Just makes it easy. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when I'm there. Oof. All right, so we're ready to do the install. Got the side skirts laid out. So I went with like the M Performance style side skirt. Not the extended ones, I went with a more subtle approach, I guess. So really looking forward to getting these installed. It'll complete the full carbon kit around the bottom of the car, and it's gonna look so clean. In order to help me out with this install, which I haven't done in the past, my last car, I bought these Rhino ramps. And so we got them all on one side, and that's gonna make plenty of room for me to get under there and put my screws in. So that's gonna be a big help. Alrighty, so I already ceramic coated these bad boys, and they've just been sitting in my garage for like three weeks, because it's been raining every day for like three weeks, so I haven't washed my car. I wanted to properly wash my car, you know, before I installed these so I could, you know, wash under the sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spray down some eraser right now on the parts where I'm gonna put some 3M tape. I'm like almost out of eraser. Now I'm gonna do this under the side of the car as well. All right, so I got the 3M laid across. So from the back to the front. And the kit that I bought came with screws and 3M tape. It looks like it was like just enough to fit the length of the side skirt. So good enough. Go ahead and peel off that 3M tape, stick it on, and then put the screws in. Definitely easier if you have two people for this. All right, so these screws that it came with aren't really cutting screws, pretty fat. So I got this drill bit. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a little pile of hole so I'm using that 332 inch. So we go ahead and drill a hole, pre-drill a hole. That way we can get these ones in there. So yeah, we need, we need one right here. All right, got a nice little pilot hole. Let's see if that works. All right, yeah, that's in there now. So that's what we'll do all along the bottom. I don't know if I'll use all 10 screws, but we'll see, and I'll let you know. All right, we got the other side on, and I used all 20 screws, 10 on each side. You can see here. So relatively easy install process. What really helped to do this job were the rhino ramps, the jack, the drill, I guess, I don't know what to call it, but what I drilled the pilot holes with from Milwaukee, and then the drill, of course. So just having those things really made the job super easy. I just took my time, probably took me like 30 minutes, if that. But yeah, I'm super stoked how they turned out. Can't wait to get some pictures. I'm probably gonna go later today, since uh, we finally got two days out of the summer where it's not raining. So I got the car all clean, and I can't wait to get some new photos. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll leave a link to the product in the description below, so you can check it out if you want. Hit that like button to support the channel. Make sure you hit subscribe to be notified for future content. Appreciate everyone watching, subscribing, and liking this video. Let's catch you guys in the next one. Peace.